Today was the last day of a human rights tribunal involving 11-year-old Carter Churchill and the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District. NTV's Mary-Kate O'Neill recaps the inquiry. I need to be able to look him in his eyes and tell him I did everything, everything I could have done. It's been almost two weeks since the first day of the Human Rights Tribunal. I think that we've waited long enough, and I think Carter's waited long enough. Todd and Kim Churchill are fighting for their 11-year-old son, Carter Churchill, who is deaf. They claim the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District not only failed to provide him with an adequate education, but also discriminated against Carter. It's, uh, it's been surreal, really, to be honest with you. This is a goal we've been working on for over five years now. And to actually be here and be in the room and finally hear how Carter was discriminated against and knowingly discriminated against, it's, it's, it's been such a mix of emotions. Many key witnesses took the stand including Kim and Todd Churchill themselves, the school district CEO, and a number of program directors within Student Support Services. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours of work, research, uh, writing responses, um, doing our affidavits, our affidavits. Mine was 66 pages. It was an emotional experience. The Churchills hope every time a decision is made by the Newfoundland and Labrador English School District going forward, Carter Churchill will be remembered. I don't think any parent should have to go through what we're going through, and it's absolutely shameful that we're having to do it. While the tribunal will conclude today, a decision could be a long way down the road. It can take, you know, anywhere from a month for the adjudicator to write their decision up until, you know, in some cases more than a year. So hopefully we'll get a decision sooner rather than later, given that, of course, that this case involves uh, the education rights of a small child. Mary-Kate O'Neill, NTV News.